Okay, here's a tutorial on using the Step Input Keyboard in Logic X. To open the Step Input Keyboard, you go Window, Show Step Input Keyboard, and you get this floating keyboard. The idea here is, is you choose the note values here. This icon is for chords. You can choose Dynamics here, so Loud to Soft. And I'll talk about these three here. It's simple to use just out of the gate like this. In other words, if I tick any of these keys on this keyboard with my left click mouse, whatever note value I have here will be programmed into a MIDI clip. I've just selected quarter notes and I'm going to go to C3, click once, and that just made a MIDI region and a quarter note MIDI note on C. D, E, F. So that's one measure of quarter notes. And we could see that if we looked at this in the score editor. C, D, E, and F. I'll delete this region. I'm using the arrow keys just above the command key on my computer keyboard to move the playhead like this. This is one way to tell Logic where you want to program your step input information. So a simple example of how you might use this is, oh, if you have a piece of music that uh, you're reading, this could be anything from Bach to, uh, to a simple children's song. I've got twinkle twinkle here. Quarter note C, C, quarter note G, G, A, A, half note G. Okay, so I could program this entire line using step input just following the process of choosing the note value and then playing the note here on this virtual keyboard with my left click mouse. I'll put the playhead back to the beginning. I'll start with quarter notes. The first two notes, again, were C, C, G, G, A, A, and then a half note G. And I'm just going to program that. I'm going to change it to the half note now. Change it back to the quarter note. And another half note. The playhead back at the beginning, and this is the result. I'm hitting the space bar to play. Open it up in the score editor, and it looks exactly like our sheet music. So that's one way that you could use the Step Input keyboard. I'm going to delete this MIDI region. Another way to use this uh, Step Input, for example, is to program with the MIDI keyboard that you have at your workstation. In my case, it's my 88 key weighted keyboard sitting in front of me here. Technique is a little bit different here. And let me show you the steps. First of all, I'm going to change my patch here from piano to a synth and show you how this can really shine. So that's a cool sound. Now in this technique, you need to use the piano roll editor. I hit the P key on my computer keyboard that opens the piano roll editor. You need to turn this button on, left click this MIDI in button. You can see the helper tag say MIDI in. This is MIDI out, MIDI in. Click it once and it turns red. Well, the same concept now applies, except I'm going to use the keyboard in front of me. I'm going to choose my note values here. 
Now the trick here is you need to get key focus in the area of the piano roll editor. And you can see that this blue line has appeared around the piano roll. Whereas when I click in the workspace here, the blue line appears in the workspace. That means it has key focus here. So this is an important feature. Blue line, key focus in the workspace, and you can see the piano roll goes dim. Click in the piano roll, blue line, and the piano roll tab lights up. I need to create an empty MIDI region here in the workspace. I'm going to right click and say create empty MIDI region and I'm just going to stretch that out for eight bars. Okay, key focus now back here in the piano roll. And the idea is this. You simply choose your note values here and then start programming and playing your keyboard. I'm going to do a fancy 16th note pattern using a pentatonic scale. So I select the 16th notes. Notice now I've got to put key focus back here in the piano roll. And that enters then a 16th note as I play it on my keyboard. And I can play this at any tempo. It's going to be 16th notes in the end. All right, so play head back to the beginning, and I've got something like this now. So you can come up with all kinds of cool sounding uh, lines, things that would be hard to play naturally. So let me just show you the last thing here, and this would be creating a snare roll, and uh, becomes pretty simple here. I'm going to go up here to the workspace, double click below, that creates an empty MIDI track for me. I'm going to go to settings, load up a drum kit, I'll say electronic, and um, I'll use this hip hop kit. Okay, same concept. Right click here and create an empty MIDI region. I'm going to stretch that out for eight bars. Now I want to find the snare sound. There it is there. Okay. Okay, get key focus back down here in the piano roll editor. I'm going to start with quarter notes. And it's just programming quarters for me. I'm going to switch it to eighths. Again, it's quantizing as it goes. Sixteenths. 30 seconds. You get the idea. And the result is pretty straight up. And you can get all kinds of creative with, with that. So there's some basics on using the step input keyboard.